Hey guys, this is Alex on the Creator of Politics and War, and I'm just going to make this quick video series to walk through uh, starting to play and some of the basic things that you should know. So, if you're watching this video, you've probably already done this, but uh, the first thing that you're going to do is click Start Playing. Once you're here, you you know throw in your email address. You should use a real email address. We never uh, sell your information or send you any spam. You basically only get uh, a registration email to activate your account, and you get uh, notifications. Like if you're attacked, you can turn those off. And then once you've got your email in, you just uh, you know check out these terms, conditions, game rules, important stuff. Fill out the captcha. Um, if you refer to the game by a friend, you're going to want to put their leader name here. Confirm that you're at least 13 years of age or older, and then you hit register. So once you're registered, you get to go to this page, and uh, it sends you an activation email. You don't have to do that right away. So now we move on to create your country. Uh, you throw in your password, you name your country, capital city, all this good stuff. Um, you get to pick the spot on the map. Um, there's six continents. There's North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. Each one of the continents has a different set of natural resources. Uh, no continent has access to all of them. They're all a little different. Uh, I'd encourage us to trade later on in the game. Um, if you want more information about continents, you can click this button right here. So once you got everything filled out just how you want it, click Create Your Nation. Successfully did it. View your nation. It's time to check it out. So the first thing that you're going to get hit with is the tutorial. So this will walk you through. I'm going to go through it. Um, so, welcome to Politics and War. Uh, first thing we got to do is go to our capital city. So, this gives you a link right here. Um, you can get to your capital city if you scroll down. It's under cities. Um, it's the, you know, the one that you named. You can also go to cities in the sidebar. So, this is the cities page. To get to the capital city, you just got to click on the link to your city here. And now we're, you know, advancing on the tutorial. So, here it says... Uh, we have to grow our city, so to do that, we're going to buy 100 infrastructure. So to buy infrastructure, you go down to Grow City. It shows you current infrastructure, current land, um, and we're going to do buy, sell infrastructure. We'll enter in 100, just like it asks us to. You'll see down here, cost is calculated. Your first 100 infrastructure is pretty cheap, $30,000. Hit go. Congratulations, you just bought 100 infrastructures. Now we're going to do the same thing, but with land. We're going to purchase 500 miles of land. So if you go down here, current land area, square miles, 20. Buy, sell land, we'll punch in 500. Calculated cost, $25,000. Hit go. Um, so now I've bought these things. So one thing that I didn't point out was that uh, your nation's resources are actually up here in the very top. So you can see that our money is over here on the right. Um, that's all we've been using so far. But just as some other resources, steel, aluminum, uh, gasoline, oil, coal, stuff like that. So anyway, we'll move on with the tutorial. Uh, next thing, we need to buy some improvements. So city improvements um, are different than infrastructure and land. Uh, land, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Infrastructure is like roads, bridges, houses, things like that. Um, and that actually increases your population. Uh, land decreases your population density. It spreads it all out. And improvements down here, you'll see there's a whole bunch of different ones. We've got, uh, let's see, four times six. So there's 24 improvements. Um, and so some are for resources, uh, some refined resources, some are things like hospitals, police stations. You got some commercial stuff that increases your revenue. You got military ones to build military units and power plants for energy. So right now it wants us to go down and uh, build a farm. That's the next step. So you go down click resources here. And when you click that, it opens up this menu below. So now we have uh, our four options. So every country will have a farm. Um, some nations have uh, different resources than these, depending on the continent. So I'm in Africa, so these are the resources that I have. Um, other nations will have different resources. So we're going to hit plus for farm right here. And now we're going back up. It tells us to check out our revenue page. So now we're producing food. That's what a farm does. And you see that we start with 250 food, uh, but our people are going to eat some every turn. Uh, turns are every two hours, and it explains that right here. Um, the game is turn-based. There's 12 turns in a day, so every two hours there's a turn that happens. And when that happens, you know that's when your food is consumed. That's when you generate more money or lose money if you're losing money. Um, and that's what the revenue explain revenue page explains. It shows you, you know, your population, how much money on average each of them are making, how much you're taking in taxes, any bonuses you have, um, how much you're paying in upkeep for various things. You can see like we're paying $25 per turn for our farm. This shows us how much resources are produced, how much are consumed. So right now we're making 1.2 food per turn. Uh, our people are eating 0.9, so that comes out to a net. You see net down here, 0.3 tons per turn. And then this whole side, third column is per day value. So we're making 3.61 tons or units of food per day. So right now we're making more food that we're consuming, which is good. 
So anyway, once you check out the revenue page, uh, you go back to your nation page following the tutorial. And then uh, it explains right here a little bit about military. So you need to have a military to protect your nation. Um, you start on the color beige. And so every nation has a color. You can kind of pick it. It's pretty arbitrary. But beige is a special color. You can't pick beige. You start on beige. And what beige is, is it protects you from war declarations. So nobody can declare war on your nation uh, while you're beige. And you get 14 days initially when you start the game. And that uh, protects you from new people attacking you and, and destroying your nation right away. So you have two weeks. Uh, you can leave early if you want to start fighting people, but it's pretty risky. So even if you do want to leave early, you probably don't want to do it right away, at least not until you're done with the tutor tutorial. Excuse me. So we'll move on now. We're going to go back to our capital city. We know how to do that. Uh, we can click here. We can go to cities in the sidebar and then city name here. And now um, it's going to explain a little bit more about power or improvements. Um, so you're limited on the number of improvements you can have based on how much infrastructure you have. So for every 50 infrastructure, you unlock a new improvement slot. Right now we have 110 infrastructure because we started with 10, we bought 100. Um, so that divided by two and then we round down, so it gives us two, or excuse me, divided by 50 um, and rounding down, that gives us two improvement slots. One of them is being taken by a farm. Um, so now it's going to ask us to build a coal mine or an oil well because we're gonna need uh, coal or oil to power our first power plant, which is gonna be a coal power plant or an oil power plant. So um, you can see power plants over here and resources over here. So depending on what continent you're on, you're either going to have coal or oil. Um, in my case, for where my nation is, we have coal, so I'm going to buy coal power plant, clicking there. And it's just taking a second to load. You see, now we have that. It cost me $1,000. Now we're producing some coal. So now we go back up and we want to build a power plant, but we can't because we are already using all of our improvement slots. So we need to buy another 100 infrastructure so that we have two more improvement uh, slots to build a power plant. So we'll hit go here. Um, so now it's time to build a coal power plant or an oil power plant. You could build either. You start with five of each resource just in case you build the wrong one. But we have a coal mine, so we're going to want to build a coal power plant so that we don't run out. Um, if you have an oil well, you're going to want to build an oil power plant. They're both pretty cheap and comparable. So hit plus here. There we go. Now we got a power plant. Great. Uh, it's time to move on and build a military improvement. So this is where I was talking about. You want a military to protect your country. So we're going to go down to military. And uh, the thing that it wants you to build is a barracks. So barracks are for soldiers, factories are for tanks, hangars are for aircraft, dry docks are for ships. Right now we're primarily concerned with barracks because um, we're a small nation, or soldiers. So hit plus here. Now back here you'll see that uh, we're moving on with the tutorial. So now we have a barracks, so we can build uh, up to 3,000 soldiers um, at a rate of 1,000 per day is our limit. So we're going to go to the military page. Um, that's also in the sidebar. And then from here, we have to go on to soldiers. You can see, you know, click the big image that says soldiers. So that's the one. Click there. Now we move on. So it explains to you again, you can build 3,000 soldiers. Um, you can train 130 max per day. Uh, we also have a limit based on population. But since we bought enough infrastructure, um, we can build the full 1,000. So enlist, discharge, 1,000, hit go. And now we have 1,000 soldiers in our nation. So it's not a whole lot, but uh, it's a start. It takes a while to build up armies. That's important. And that's the end of the total, excuse me, tutorial. So now we have 100 grand for our nation. So now right about 300 grand total. And uh, that'll be the end of this video. But in the next one, I'm going to show you what we're going to do from here. We're going to move on to objectives and just kind of introduce you to the other basic things of the game. But this showed you how to go to your city, your capital city, um, how to build infrastructure, land, which are important, how to build improvements. Um, that's all vital stuff. So uh, we'll cover some more stuff in the next video.